Ladies and gentlemen, this weekend we have UFC 274 going down in Phoenix, Arizona, and I cannot wait. Of course, in the main event, we've got a tremendous fight. We've got Charles Oliveira defending the belt against Justin Gagey. That's going to be mental. It's going to be bananas. It's going to be a fantastic fight. Coleman, again, fantastic. Can't wait for it. Rose Namajunas defending against Carla Esparza. It's a rematch, okay? They're awesome. But there's some fights on the undercard that I cannot wait for. And I'm telling you right now, some legendary names that you have to enjoy right now because we might not see them fight again. I hope we do because I'm a big fan of some of them. Well, I'm a huge fan of all of them. Uh, who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about, of course, there's one person on there, Maurizio Shogun Hua. This man is an absolute legend. He's only, he's only 40 years old, which to me blows my mind because I thought he was way older than that because... He was one of the guys that I first admired when I was getting into this sport. I discovered mixed martial arts in 2003. I started training to become a fighter. And then I started, you know, uh, enjoying as much of the product as I could as possible. UFC and Pride. They were the two that I was watching. And when I started watching Pride, there was this guy, this Brazilian, that totally blew my mind. Of course, I'm talking about Shogun. And that epic run that he went on when he won the Pride Grand Prix in 2004. And this man, ever since he's stepped into a ring or to a cage, he does nothing but provide insane excitement. 2004, that run that he went on, I mean, it was absolutely mind-blowing. Let's have a look at some of the people. I mean, after his fifth fight, the man's fighting in Pride, and he was not having easy fights. Akahiro Gono, Quinton Rampage Jackson, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira, Alistair Overeem, Ricardo Arona, I mean, the list goes on. Kevin Randleman, Mark Coleman, Chuck Liddell. Who could forget those legendary couple of fights that he had with Dan Henderson? I mean, they... They were something else. They were just unbelievable. As you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Dan Henderson, but credit where credit's due. When they first fought at UFC 139 in November 2011, I watched that with all my family and some friends, and I was, I was on my feet. I could not believe it. One of the best fights I've ever seen. Just phenomenal. And as I said, when he won the Pride Grand Prix in 2004, just insane. Came over to the UFC, became UFC light heavyweight champion by knocking out uh, Lyoto Tomashida, the, the, the dragon, with a beautiful right hand. And he's only 40 years old. Professional MMA record, 27 wins, 12 losses, 21 knockouts with one submission, which is absolutely wild. I thought he would have had more submissions because he's got very, very good jiu-jitsu, an exciting style, super aggressive, and he he always brings a lot to the table. I mean, the man has given so much to mixed martial arts. And you got to think, right? He, last time out, he lost to Paul Craig. He's lost to Anthony Smith, you know, and he lost to Vincent Prue. That's who he's going to fight on Saturday night. Now, the first fight with Vincent Prue, it was over before it started. Or Vince caught him with a shot just at, right at the start of the fight. Hey, he got caught. Simple as that. I'm sure this one's going to be a lot different. Maurizio coming into this one very hungry. But the man's a legend. The man's a legend, and you can't continue to compete in a sport as vicious, as nasty, as beautiful as this forever. Everybody, time catches up with everybody. And who knows, this might be the last time you get a chance to see a legend, and he is a true legend. Listen, I'm lucky. Some people say to me, oh, Bispin, you're a legend, you're a legend, and that's so kind, and I appreciate it. But when you're talking Shogun Hua, that's a true legend. That is a true legend that helped grow this sport, helped it explode into the worldwide phenomenon that it is today. So, Saturday night, tune in, because he's going to put on one hell of a show. Of course, the legends don't end there. Also on the card, opening the main card, Joe Lozon taking on Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Two guys that, listen, let's be honest, probably getting close to the end of their career. That doesn't mean they're not going to go out there and fight. That doesn't mean they can't beat some of the best people in the world. It just means that they're both pushing 40 and you can't do this forever. Certainly when you're a lightweight. All right, real quick, rockauto.com. They've been in the business of supplying every single car part that you need at the best possible prices. That is why they have been in business for 20 years. When you go to rockauto.com, you'll have a lot of fun if you're a car guy or a car girl, if you know your way around an engine, if you know how to fix some stuff on your car. I don't, but if you do, rockauto.com is where you want to go. As I said, they've got it all, right? And they've got it at the best possible prices because there's no middleman markup. Simple as that. They have the store. They don't get it marked up by anyone. There's no store for markups. Shoom. Over the internet, straight to your doorstep. rockauto.com, that's the website you want to go to or click the link in the episode description down below.
Donald Cerrone coming into this one, he's 40 years old. Listen, the man's had a great career. 36 wins, 16 losses, 10 knockouts, 17 submissions with nine draws. And he's fought some of the best along the way. We all know it. Come on, man. The cowboy, when he's on form, he is one of the best to watch. Great jiu-jitsu, but on the feed, that's where he does his best work. When he knocked out Rick Story back in the day, what a combination that was. When people thought, you know, his best days were behind him, he fought Alexander Hernandez. Alexander Hernandez was talking all kinds of shit, disrespected him, and he stopped him with a beautiful display of striking in round two. And as I say, listen, we can't do this forever. The sport is a cruel mistress. Sadly, Cerrone now is on a six-fight streak without a win. Five losses, one no contest. And who knows? Maybe he loses again Saturday night. Maybe Saturday night he calls it a day. Maybe Saturday night he says, you know what? That's it. That's the end of my career. So you've got to tune in. You've got to watch. You know, watching it after it, it isn't quite the same when you watch it live. There's no feeling like that. And of course, going up against Joe Lawson, he's another guy that's pushing 40, that's had a legendary career, that has been around for a very, very long time. He fought UFC 63 against Jens Pulver. I was there at the pond in Anaheim, right? I was there with my old jiu-jitsu coach cornering him, and I saw Joe Lawson. And he walked out and I thought, who is this little nerd? He's going to get his ass kicked. And boy, was I wrong. Yeah, because he went out there against Jens Pulver, took him out of there in 48 seconds and absolutely shocked the world. And from then, that was the start of a fantastic career. We know Joe Lowe's on, on the ground, one of the best. Very, very dangerous, very tricky. Beautiful submissions, but of course, with the hands as well. Last time out, he got a great win over Jonathan Pierce. That was in round one, one minute 33. But sadly, prior to that, it was a three-fight losing streak. Listen... This sport is a cruel mistress. It really is. It can give you so much, but it can take so much away. And who knows? Maybe Joe Lozan and Donald Cerrone, maybe they both retire. Maybe they both go on and have another five fights each. We don't know. But what I do know is that Joe Lozan is 37 years old. Donald Cerrone is 40. You can't do that forever. And of course, there's another couple of legends on there. Well, one in particular goes by the name of El Kikui. Of course, Tony Ferguson. This man is 38 years old, and he is now on a three-five losing streak granted I, I talked about this last week won't go on about it too long all right lost to Gagey lost to Benil Dariush and of course lost to Charles Oliveira okay who is the champion of the world but if he loses again and he goes on a four fight losing streak and with him being 38 years old there's a potential that he says do you know what I was on a 12 fight win streak I was the interim champion of the world I wanted to Fight for the undisputed battle against Khabib, it never happened. I was the man. But now I'm on a four or five fucking losing streak. I can't do this anymore. My best days are behind me. Again, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he goes and he goes and he goes. Maybe he finds his footing. Maybe he goes out Saturday night and destroys Michael Chandler. I don't know. I'm just saying. These guys aren't going to be around forever. They have given the sport so much, right? And it's a vicious toll on the body. It really is. You know, I love this sport. It gives me so much. But it also takes a lot away. So as I say, Saturday night, there's a lot of legends. And in fact, his opponent, Michael Chandler, let's be honest, there's another one. Michael Chandler coming into this one. He's only 36 years old, right? Doesn't sound old. But again, for a lightweight, not the youngest guy. Great record, 22 wins, 7 losses. But he said, when he signed with the UFC, he said, I am here for a good time. Not a long time. And of course, he's a smart man. Michael Chandler is very articulate when you speak to him and he knows what he wants to do. Inside the octagon, he's an absolute savage. And that style, much like Tony Ferguson, is fucking awesome to watch. It's incredible. But you can't fight like that forever. That fight against Justin Gagey, I mean, one of the best fights you'll ever see. But they left a piece of themselves inside that octagon. And who knows? If he loses on Saturday night to Ferguson, maybe he says, well, you know what? I came here to be the UFC champion. That's it. Nothing else. I'm not interested in second place. I want to be the best. I was a champion of Bellator. I want to be the champion of the UFC. I've lost three in a row. You know what? I had some fun. I made some money. I'm going to go about my day. Go about my business. Go do something else. I'm not saying he's going to, you know, but I'm just saying that Shogun, come on, man, he's got to be retired soon. So Cerrone, Lozon, those ones as well, for sure. Tony Ferguson, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that this card is full of has-beens. I'm, I'm saying this card is full of legends. I'm not disrespecting these people. I am giving them respect. Not disrespect, respect. Because that is what they deserve. Because they bring so much. They put on such exciting fights. Anyway, Saturday night, I will be sitting on my couch. Best seat in the house with a beer in my hand, enjoying, screaming, shouting, losing my mind, and of course, doing YouTube videos for you as well. So please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell and have a good day. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.